The Navy vs. the Night Monsters, 1966, directed by Michael A. Hoey, starring Rob Faulkner, Anthony Isley, and Mamie Van Doren. The lives of the crew of a weather station on a small island are endangered when a plane crash releases a deadly threat. What caused the plane to crash? And what deadly cargo were they carrying? When I was four years old, I was gifted a copy of 1962's The Day of the Triffids on VHS for Easter. Eagle-eyed viewers might recognize the movie poster. It's one of the films I feature in my intro. The film terrified me as a child, and as I grew older, my fear grew into appreciation. The film holds up incredibly well to this day. It's become my gold standard for killer plant films. So when I found out that another killer plant film was made in the 60s, I got excited. Surely this is going to be good, right? Right? It is important for films to hook you in within the first 10 minutes. This film failed to hook me in by the halfway point, making it a serious chore to sit through. This is a legitimate photo of me and my dog when I discovered I was only halfway through this film. She wasn't entertained either. The male characters in this film are hard to tell apart. They're all hot-blooded hornballs, whether they're scientists or soldiers. The actresses in this film act like they're only there to earn a paycheck. With Mamie Van Doren herself only starring in this film as a contractual obligation. If the title The Navy vs. The Night Monsters doesn't sound great to you, you're not alone. Producer Jack Broder changed the title from Nightcrawlers. It's actually one of the reasons writer and director Michael Hoey walked on this production. Hoey wasn't the only one who wasn't happy with the name change. The entire cast and crew actually threatened to leave when the name change was announced. Other reasons Michael Hoey walked included story ideas Broder suggested to reach a 90 minute runtime, as well as refusing to shoot the killer plants the day they arrived on set after seeing them. Uncredited directors Arthur C. Pierce and John Hall were brought in to finish the film. Production took 10 days. It shows. The reveal of the killer plants isn't built up across the runtime. They just show up at the 50 minute mark and are incredibly underwhelming. The troubled production is unfortunately far more entertaining than the actual film itself, with no tension or memorable killings to break up the monotony. Verdict, thumbs down. Just go watch Day of the Triffids, it's a far better film. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune next time with a thrilling, low-budget adventure.